a migraine and how it affects the brain. That's next. Almost anyone experiencing a migraine says it often comes with debilitating symptoms. It's characterized by headache and um, uh, nausea and sensitivity to light and sound. Dr. Lenore Launer from the National Institute on Aging and co-authors examined a group of randomly selected middle-aged men and women living in the Netherlands. In 2000, we identified around 435 individuals, some of whom ha did not have migraine and some of who did have migraine. Researchers assessed the patient's migraine headache characteristics, medical history, and brain images. They found those with migraines had a higher risk of experiencing small lesions in the white matter of the brain than those without migraine. In 2009, these same patients were re-examined. The people with migraine had a two times increased risk for those lesions to either progress or for new lesions, particularly among women. There was evidence of an increased risk of having these small white hyperintensities on the MRI scan. They are called hyperintensities because on the MRI, they look very bright. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. There was no association between having these lesions and whether or not somebody could function um, cognitively, which means uh, performance on tests of memory, speed of processing, and concentration. There is also no proof that these headaches cause the lesions. However, some evidence suggests that lesions in the white matter may be associated with a migraine attack. This really changes the game in terms of thinking that migraine is an intermittent condition that does not leave any lasting trace on the brain to something where it's a more chronic condition where there actually is some evidence left as a result of the migraine. Researchers had also found that the frequency and severity of migraines were not associated with white matter lesion development. Researchers point out that these results have no clinical implications and should not change how patients and physicians manage migraine care. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report. We need to do further research, uh, both um, in the clinic, uh, in populations, and experimentally, to try to figure out exactly how those small vessels are involved in, in the migraine uh, headache.